Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you, energies for you, two of ones, the Fool and the Lovers, energies for your person, Four of Cups, Knight of Wands, Ten of Cups. What can we expect for this connection? Ten of Swords, Page of Wands, Seven of Cups, Nine of Cups from the bottom of the deck. Wish granted energy, we can say that, but also the potential risk to face someone that can be a little bit too full of themselves. And this one seems to be a meaningful factor considering the type of person that some of you are dealing with. So you have a major decision to make, not only the two of ones, but also the lovers. Crossroads, heart overhead decision. About what? About the opportunity to give this person, I would say, the benefit of the doubt in order to grant in their favor another chance in the romantic arena, the full, a new beginning. If this is not possible, the full can become for you the opportunity to begin a new chapter in a different direction, in a new situation, because the connection with this person can be over. There is the word in the Two of Wands, and we also got the Ten of Swords. So, guys, if we look at these energies, the odds are not smiling in favor of your person of interest. They can be of a different opinion when it comes to what is the level of satisfaction that we can associate to a romantic connection because the Knight of Wands is kind of in contrast with the Ten of Cups because a Knight of Wands mentality, if you ask me, is not sufficient in order to manifest the Ten of Cups energy. It's not consistent enough and this person can fall for that mindset because of the Four of Cups. And we know the drill with the energy. There is a divine offer, but someone under the tree that is not really focused on that divine opportunity, which can be a lover's type of connection, because they are looking for something easier, you know, the three cups down below. And the Knight of Wands can be a tricky energy about that. So there can be a question, do you want the same thing? You have to fulfill an evaluation, guys, because love can be a question mark at the moment in a connection like this one, even if you may have genuine intentions in favor of this person. In the progression, hey, we got the Ten of Swords that cannot be overlooked. The Seven of Cups can be an energy about indecision, doubts, questions, and guys, let's throw in also a consideration about potential options when it comes to this person. This is something that we have to at least mention, you know, and the page of ones is a teeny tiny bit of passion that maybe was sparked between the two of you, funny connection, kind of like a pleasure for a while, but then nothing really serious. And so some of you in particular can ask yourself, first and foremost, what are we? And then you can ask the same question to your person of interest. Their answer can seal the fate of the connection. So let's go for another round for these energies. Let's see what we can get. The Ten of Swords can be a disappointing outcome. Guys, we have to, we have to consider it. We cannot ignore it because the Knight of Wands mentality may not be in favor of the opportunity to embrace a connection in the most stable way, you know? So here we go, Two of Wands, Page of Cups, the full judgment, a final decision. Are you willing to give this person another chance or are you going to make up your mind in order to move in a different direction? The Lovers, Six of Wands, where is your victory when it comes to what your heart desires? Ooh, Four of Cups, Devil, so this person can kinda hang out with you because they cannot resist you, they can be crazy about you, but can they shift their mindset towards 
one that can be more reliable, more trustworthy. Seven of Wands for the Knight of Wands. They can struggle to let go of their ways. Ten of Cups, hang the man. They can be stuck. Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords, Anxiety. This can be about the two of you, but for different reasons. You can struggle a little bit because maybe you were hoping that this connection could have been a positive reality. Your person can struggle because they can think that they can lose the benefits of the connection with you. Page of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, which is a desire, energy about commitment, the opportunity to build a family. Is this person married? Is this a love triangle, a third party situation? It can be, considering the devil. Queen of Cups for the Seven of Cups. And the Five of Swords, bottom of the smaller deck, Ego. And we jump right back at the consideration that we have shared about the man with the red hat in the Nine of Cups. Well, guys, if this is a third party situation and you are the third person, so the one behind the curtains, allow me to say, this can be a, a tricky situation from your perspective because your person of interest may be only in the position to offer you a secret affair and this may not be enough. If instead, your person of interest is free, as you are, but they are struggling with the overall idea about commitment because they got used to this type of life that can be the one of the Latin lover, let's say, the Casanova, there can be still problems in front of this connection. So. The Page of Cups is a small energy when it comes to the emotional side of an interaction. It can be lovely, it can be kind, genuine, yes, but it is still a page. And that's why for me, the energy can become the opportunity to say, and I am sorry, but from your point of view, the I am sorry, but can come because there can be a sudden realization, judgment that a leap of faith together with this person can be a foolish mistake, whether they are free or in another relationship at the moment. And this can be something that can push you guys forward towards the Six of Wands, victory, positive progression, yes, but if and only if we live behind the battlefield, the battlefield is metaphorically represented by the Five of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Devil, let's say, and the stubbornness of this person. So where is your victory? You will have to trust your heart in this evaluation because the connection with this person can be extremely different from the one that you want to manifest into reality if they are free because maybe they are interested only in a sexual-based connection or a sex-based connection, let's say, or, or if, if they are in another relationship, they can ask you to settle for a secret affair. In any case, the situation doesn't look good. The devil is a cycle for this person, energy about excesses. They cannot handle themselves when it comes to the mindset that they have. They cannot resist you, but at the same time, they are not willing to let go of their ways. If this is a love triangle, they cannot offer you the type of commitment that you may desire to see from them. If they are available, they can be interested in a different type of connection because the perspective, hang the man, ten of cups, is different from yours. The seven of wands can be a resistance. You shall not pass. It can be a matter of stubbornness. So it can be difficult to find agreements with this person. In the progression, guys, I want to address first the Seven of Cups, Queen of Cups, because the Queen is an energy about intentions. The Queen is able to understand if the intentions involved in a situation are genuine and positive and sincere enough to grant success in favor of a connection that can be nurtured in the right way. 
This is the evaluation that you have to fulfill. You have to ask a lot of questions to this person according to the scenario uh, between the two that we have mentioned. But the answers that this individual can offer you may be disappointing ones. That's why the Nine of Swords, anxiety. And that's why if we realize that the approach is way too superficial, page of ones, it can be difficult to find a progression 10 of pentacles related, especially if this person is involved in another relationship. And the 10 of swords can be a natural consequence, but this can set you free, even if it is a disappointing outcome, let's say. But guys, it is related to the five of swords, clouded sky, clouded interaction, something that is not quite clear or not quite right. The man in green and red can be the better of the three of swords. I am leaning towards this person. You may have to embrace the role of the people that can leave the battlefield behind. This is a difficult but extremely important decision for those of you that can resonate with the overall scenario. You cannot shy away from it. You cannot run away from the crossroads. The judgment is going to come to the rescue because it can be a divine energy. It's like a wake up call, a moment of clarity, a sudden realization that can guide you towards the soulful decision that can set the tone for what comes next in your journey. But if this person is not a fair companion, or let's say if this person cannot be a fair companion for you, you will have factors that can back up this realization and it wouldn't be wise to ignore them, guys. So I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.